Welcome to this week's episode of the A2 Schools podcast. I'm your host, Andrew Cluley, Director of Communications for the Ann Arbor Public Schools. We took the last couple weeks off as we were focused on commencement ceremonies and other end-of-year events as the 2021-2022 school year came to a close. We thank our teachers, administrators, school staff, families, and students for all of their work over the school year and wish everyone a safe and healthy summer break. For this week's episode, we were focused on the nearly 1,500 graduates in the class of 2022. Recently, Superintendent Swift sat down for a conversation with members of the class of 2022 and discussed their high school experience, the additional challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, and their future plans. We share now a highlight video from that conversation that you can also find on the Ann Arbor Public Schools YouTube channel. Nearly 1,500 students in the Ann Arbor Public Schools graduating class of 2022 recently received their diplomas. In addition to the typical challenges students face, this class was impacted by the COVID-19 global pandemic, particularly during their crucial junior year. While overcoming additional obstacles, the Ann Arbor Public Schools class of 2022 gained valuable skills, knowledge, and perspective that will serve them well in all of their future endeavors. Virtual learning taught me how to be my own person. I spent so much time with myself. I had so much time to reflect on what I truly wanted and what I needed to do in the future to make myself succeed. The pandemic made me a lot more resistant to roadblocks. Now, a lot of times when there are barriers, instead of maybe just shirking away, I'm trying to look for ways around it, look for ways that I can still achieve my goals despite these barriers. With the class of 2022, we've just been looked to a lot at all of the schools to really step up and help the underclassmen because we were the, we're the only class that was at our schools for a full year. We were in a leadership position without having had the year before to prepare for it. And on the one hand, that was really, really difficult. But on the other hand, I feel like I saw it as like an opportunity to form my own new traditions. And I think a lot of people have that experience of like, out of this mess, we're gonna make it an opportunity to enact changes that we couldn't necessarily have made before. These people that I stuck with throughout quarantine and that I kept contact with, that's one of the hardest things that I've done in my life. And I know for sure that they're gonna stick with me through it. And I know for sure that these are like my forever people, which was one positive that came out of it. We are all shown how like quickly everything can just disappear. And especially with relationships, I feel like I just had far greater of an appreciation for my mom, my dad and my siblings, because at the end of the day, like they were always there for me throughout the pandemic. I'm really glad that era is over, but I think I gained a lot from that experience. And as I reflect on that, I think we as a school district, as a community, as a society, we've all learned a lot and come to appreciate a lot of things that we took for granted before. One of the things that I really got out of the pandemic was that you only live once. So that for me was like saying yes to things more than saying no to things. Because of COVID, I want to become a doctor and Huron's health science program helped me explore that even more. So for me, it kind of just reframe the way I looked at things in a way that was actually really helpful. I felt a lot more willing to take opportunities and partake in things bigger than myself because I've come to appreciate the stuff that I missed. Uh, and this new outlook has been going great for me and I think it'll help me a lot in the future. After the pandemic, I learned it's like it can all disappear and life is really about the opportunities that you take. Thank you so much. And congratulations to each of you, to your beautiful parents, and to your teachers and all who've been with you throughout this time. I'm just so very proud of each of you, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Swift. Thank you. Again, you can watch that video of this year's AAPS graduates on the Ann Arbor Public Schools YouTube channel. For this week's Good News segment, we want to congratulate the Pioneer High School women's tennis team on winning the state championship 
Pioneer claimed the title by a single point over Bloomfield Hills, and it was the second straight title for the Pioneers as they tied Bloomfield Hills in the finals last year. We also congratulate the Skyline crew team, which claimed the Michigan State Rowing Championship. Skyline rowing teams won eight of the 24 events. The women's team claimed the points title, while the men's team finished second. During the summer break, we will continue to share the A2 Schools podcast, but not every week. As always, if you have questions, please check out the Ann Arbor Public Schools website at a2schools.org. We're also on Facebook and YouTube at Ann Arbor Public Schools. And as always, if you have questions about the A2 Schools podcast specifically, email them to communications at a2schools.org. Thanks for listening to this week's episode.